The following podcast is brought to you by Rodeo Brand Paper Towels. Rodeo Brand Paper Towels, for messes as big as Texas. There is a world as tangible as our own, impossible to see yet unavoidable to sense. A world enveloped by a seemingly unending ocean of forests. Buried deep in that forest, tucked away neatly within a blanket of twilight, lies a quaint little cabin. And in that cabin is a bunch of guys, is a bunch of bullshit. Hey gang, welcome to Sleepy Cast. I'm Stamper TV and I'm here with Psycho Pebble, Zach, Niall, <laughs> Murray, and Jeff, Johnny Utah. And this uh, is episode. Uh, <sighs> episode. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, it's episode, episode Data Not Found. Nine! Well, well, you do, well. That's not good! How does, how does episode nine? You're already on the Hitler shit again. Nine! You found it! No, Dude, no, nine. no, Zach, That's, Zach. Okay. You inspired it, Zach. Not all, not all Germans are Hitler or Nazis. Jeff was speaking polite I'm, German. I'm German, so I have a right to say Me it. too. I like, believe that. Yeah, like, polite Germans run around there. Nine! Zach, nine! Zach Hodge. Is that, is that how you it's pronounced, like, officially? Hodge. Zach Hodge. That's what it's pronounced. Uh, but German. Zach is not a Jewish name. It's a Catholic name. Really? Zach? Zachary. I always thought that was like his, oh, yeah, Michael. You're right, you're right, Joseph. You're right. They're all. Yeah, but that's still Jewish. Catholic. I thought Zach was always. I always thought Zach was a Jewish. You got a shitty ass Bible name. Hey, Jeff. Zachary. Uh, Hi. Introduce the Sleepy Cat in, in the style of uh, the next generation Captain's Log. Go. Damn, you really put me on the spot. Captain's Log. Start We're here. Stardate. Uh, what is the Stardate? November 12th. 12th. <laughs> Well, November 12th, 2014. Start date, November 12th, 2014. We are here in the uh, the captain's the captain's uh, ready room with uh, uh, Stamper. You're not gonna say shit. Fine, Zach. Uh, hello, Nile. How's it going, guys? Who recently got the internet cut off? And oh, come on, me. All right, he downloaded right. Agent, Co- Agent Cody Banks. <laughs> Look, All someone right. downloaded Agent Cody Banks, but why? This- it was you. You're the Cody Banks boy. Nobody, I think- nobody knows what we're talking about. So, so summarize from the start. How okay, you fucked the entire All right. house over. Now. All right. Okay, about two months ago, right? Someone downloaded Workaholics, right? You. Oh, wait, I was, I was going to get to that. That person was me. <laughs> I admitted to that. I downloaded an episode of Workaholics to show Zach. How bad it was, okay? Then suddenly, he's mo- pissed off all the workaholics fans. About three weeks ago, no, well, like some somebody episodes ago, downloaded Frozen. Yeah, you, and you downloaded like an entire movies. season plus because you wanted to show somebody. How no, bad I did was. not. I downloaded episode 11, 12, and like the finale or whatever, right? Of season three, which is a year old. Then someone, like a co- two weeks ago, downloaded Agent Cody Banks, saving Agent- Mr. Banks. <laughs> Oh, the wait, Tom the, the, the Tom Hanks movie. Wait, did you really think it was Agent Cody Banks? I was confused. <laughs> it's Saving Mr. Banks with Tom Hanks. Dude. I thought it was Agent Cody Banks. No, well, they are. Oh, well, they sorry, are they're related. Well, well someone downloaded right? what's it called Mr. Banks. Saving Mr. Saving Banks. Mr. Banks, and uh, that got us the second strike, right? Then recently, our internet got cut off because they said that someone keeps downloading torrents. I'm so it glad. Explained. Today, recently. Yeah, well, today our internet got cut off, so like. It explain why you feel partially guilty. I feel partially guilty. Because first I, I committed the first strike. Third of all, I, I was seeding some torrents, so I think my, it might have been me. This Who way. seeds torrents? I accidentally exactly. forgot to like a few weeks ago. I forgot to when disable you this old man. It, I know. I it out a prompt and it's like, oh, that's finish. selfish. That's yeah. selfish. Then Guys. now when fifteen thousand people are seeding it, you don't have to worry about it. Torrenting is yeah, illegal. but if everyone has yeah, that, guys, I agree. Yeah, this is a legal activity. I use, I use. Oh fuck you. Just, just, this is just a distasteful conversation. I don't What's the last piece of, of software you bought? Captain Flash, Photoshop? I actually did my Flash. I actually did my Flash. Bullshit. Seven hundred dollars. I bought Flash, and you know something? It ran way worse than the actual version I downloaded and tore it illegally. Uh, fuck you, Adobe. <laughs> and fuck you, Mac Media. Oh, no, hey, no. Hey, Mac hey. Media is good. Fuck you, Adobe. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mac fuck you, Adobe. This you. podcast brought to you by Adobe. <laughs> fuck, fuck you, Adobe. You, Adobe. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Niall got our internet cut off at the house. No, I was a. Thanks to his workaholics addiction. No, this was once. once. One out of three strikes. But like the fact now, that I should have a ho- you should have a show called Toward the Holics about you. Because I'm a Toward the Holics. Oh yeah. Okay. And the okay. fact that I'm the only person on the internet account, and I have to account for seven other people that do illegal shit all day. 
You guys just walk, and I'm fucked. No, Snapper. Um, whoever, yes, whoever, Snapper. I'm fucked at the end of the day. Someone should. I have to answer for all that shit. Whoever downloaded those torrents should fess up. That's not cool not to fess up, because everyone's so denying go it. fess up for workaholics? I did fess up for Asian workaholics. I did fess up for workaholics. To Verizon? Who, who Call Verizon right, right now and say that just, you're the one that downloaded workaholics. Hell no. And you apologize. Why don't, why don't we approach this like bat, Detective Batman? Who, who are all the guilty parties in the house? It's not me. Everyone. Stuff. But it did say stop. And I stopped. Yeah. And nobody I did else too. stopped. Yeah, you should stop. I stopped and I deleted. By the way, when I torrent something, when I don't, I don't do that because it's illegal. But what I do, I when delete. You, you were so full of shit. I you delete. So full of shit. I delete it when I when I when it's done. I delete it. It's gone. Hypothetically, yeah. You delete the you file. Know. See, my yeah. my my problem was. If I like it. I keep the file. My pro my there, problem. I, I leave the file, <clears throat> but I I delete the torrent. It's gone. So out, of the, you, out of the bay. Why everybody does that? He, he lets it seem like an old man. Yeah, right. no, that Verizon was an accident. Just fucking hates you guys. Yeah. I have Com yeah, people hate Comcast, but they've never bothered me. Yeah, uh, well, Comcast, don't they, like, screw you over and give you, like, shitty internet? No, they what? no they're nice. They're nice people. You know oh, why? Okay. Because Jeff pays the bills and doesn't torrent AJ oh, Cody Banks. <laughs> yeah. Well, a lot of people on the internet seem to be, uh... To, Disney like Disney movies all day long. A kind of buzz, uh, a buzzword kind of thing that, like, Gays. these days what? is to hate Comcast. And I think you're going to be, like, in the bad end of the limelight for kind of... Truthfully, I never had a problem The with only Comcast. problem I have with them is they cost... Yeah. I feel like I'm paying way too much. Yeah, they that's do. what's coming problem. When I was problem. with Comcast, I was paying, like, $120 for my cable TV service. And then I was like, wait a second. When was and the last time you note, actually watch TV? It's been a long time. The, the last time I actually watched TV was in a bar where they had cable TV. Who watches TV when you can just torn I, shit? I haven't turned on my TV in weeks. Why can't you get a cable TV package where you pay for the channels that you actually want? Like, what if you just wanted the Discovery Channel, Food Network... HBO. But that's kind of what's happening. You know, does network. HBO go? Yeah, I don't like, watch fucking BET. Dude, nobody I, needs or, or anything channels. else. Not, not that specifically, but you know, a golf channel. I, I've read not just about BET. this, but I'm not. I forget the yeah, exact. I think nice saves that. So you're saying like every every like network should kind of go in the route of Netflix, where you can like subscribe to them but and just guys, pay them for what you want. Yes, Jeff. Nobody will subscribe to the Speed Channel. And yeah, like the God channel. channel. Do you? Do you ever watch the God Channel? <laughs> no, I don't. What's they the got mass twenty four seven. What's the Speed Channel? It's what do you think? It's a lot of fast, Speed? a lot of fast things. Oh, really? It's like Days of Thunder. Like I'm not kidding. Hours. No, it's no movies. It's usually like car shows and uh, the Speed Channel. Yeah, like they, you know they have like lots of reruns of Overhauling. <laughs> Does that movie? And that, and that, that uh, who's the dude that? Did, oh, uh, he. Did, it's like Overhauling, but with the black guy. It's not Ice T. It's uh, <laughs> Mr. T. The guy from the movie Friday. Ice Cube. Ice, Ice Cube. Cube. Ice Cubes. What's it? What's that show he does? Ice Cubes, the show. <clears throat> no, it's not Ice Cubes. Ice Cube Tray. <laughs> exactly. Ice Cube Tray. <laughs> it's like Overhauling, but with Ice Cube. That's anyway. what he calls his family. I didn't know He's that. He's Ice Cube Tray. He, he, steals, Ice Cube. he steals a dude's car and then makes it purple and pink and gives it back, and then everybody's happy, and they, they end. That's so, what he does every episode. Do they ever play that Keanu Reeves movie? Speed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, have you ever seen Speed? Yeah, I have. Yeah. It's a good movie. It, it is. is a good movie. What about Speed 3? You ever fuck your little G.I. Joes? Like the little ones? Or yeah, the no, the little ones. ones. <laughs> the little tiny G.I. Joes. Yeah, they, they'd have little cracks in their butts. and you can just... I used to take a pen and poke a little hole in the ass and fuck it. I'd, sh I'd destroy, I'd shoot him with my BB gun. <laughs> I'd line them up and <laughs> everybody, yeah, everybody blow their heads off. Yeah, everybody had G.I. Joes used to strap fireworks to them and blow them <laughs> they off. They weren't fun to destroy, I'll give them that. Well, that's kind of like emulating real war, really. Kind of. Hey, yeah. Jeff, have you ever been shot by a BB gun? No, but I knew kids that I mind... It's, it blew my mind at that age that they were... Yeah, they would have BB gun fights, and even as like a teenager, I'm like, you guys are fucking stupid. Like, they'd come in... They'd, they'd hold out their hand, and there'd be a fucking BB under their oh. skin in their hand, and they're like, look, look, I got hit. Jesus Christ. I'm like, it, I'm, I'm like a shiver is going up my spine looking at this. Like, I'm like, you guys are going to fucking lose your it's eye. It's like those bugs from the movie. All you have to do is cover little... your eyes up like this. It was kind of. He was pushing it back and forth like... I had this kid called Melvin O'Houlihan who everyone used to shoot Melvin? BB guns. Melvin O'Houlihan? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Melvin, everybody, everybody, did they shoot him? Did he look hey, like Melvin, what, he what is it? We all shoot him. We all gay up on him. Shoot him execution style. But he would just run to his house and pee his pants. 
<laughs> is that real? That's yeah, it's a real it's happen. That's the greatest name I've ever Melvin heard in my life. Melvin O'Glan. O'Glan, yeah. God, he, he had no chance. No, I think he killed himself, actually. So either you're Wait, lying, what? or he grew up to be a No, he killed magician. himself. He tried to kill himself with Melvin a BB O'Glan, gun. Melvin O'Glan, really? He tried to kill himself with a BB <laughs> gun, but he just hurt, got a headache and went on with his life. Did cool. that actually happen, the, like the, yeah. the BB all gun? all of that, yeah, all no, of that. No, I know that. All of that happened. God bless Melvin, rest in peace. Okay, no, none of it happened. Died of leukemia. None of it happened. R.I.P. Legitimate topic, go. Zach want to talk about dogs versus cats, right, Zach? Dogs no. versus cats. Well, if you put a dog and a cat in a big box, Wait, what do you mean dogs? Let's hear it. Let's you hear want to talk it. about dogs versus cats? Dogs and cats, or dogs versus cats? What? Well, it's like saying a Rottweiler like like, like versus a, a little a cat. cat. And... No, no, no. You know, like which is better? I, I, I've always thought cats are pretty fucking worthless <clears> myself. <throat> they're cute, but they're worthless. Yeah, as hell. they are. They are. That's true. Stamper, you said something that always stuck with me. You said cats are like house plants. And I never forgot that because it's exactly what they're like. They're like house plants that are alive. They just walk around. It's true. House like, plants are alive, but they just walk the around. The difference between dogs and cats. I said that? Yeah. I drink a lot. I don't yeah, know. <laughs> when you when you have cats a cat, are like house plants. It doesn't make sense. It does. When you sit there, that you look at it like, oh, there's my fucking cat, and you walk away. I'm you probably, can't really pick up a cat and like. I'm probably gonna offend a lot of people here, but like cats, they seem to like they they want what will suit themselves. Like they want food, so they'll come over to you and give you affection just so you'll give them food or pet them or whatever. It's not they don't show you like love. Like dogs do? They're little manipulators. Yeah, they, they, they're like, oh, this human is here to serve me. Well, that's, that's what... the thing. They're not smart enough to be little manipulators. They got little walnut brains. <laughs> yeah. The thing the that bothers me tiny. the most about cats is when they come up to people and they say, my cat is is really in tune with how I am right now. And, and she always Bullshit. comes up to me when I have a headache. <clears throat> and I feel... I Bullshit. feel that we have a really good connect. Your cat is fucking retarded. They yeah, have- it just sits there with its blank, dead eyes. Yeah, we have, this, we, have this, we have this. We have this. <laughs> are absolutely worthless yeah. animal. We have this cat called Sushi, and if you look in her eyes at any given time, there's nothing. You can see there's nothing going on in her brain. These like big nothing going black on in her brain. Eyes with yeah, nothing it's inside like of them. they're both kind of looking to the side a little bit, and they're just like, "What?" They don't. Have, they have no clue. They just want to shit and eat and fuck. That's it. I don't. I don't mind seeing another person's pet or petting another person's pet, but yeah, I don't know. I can't. I can't see myself. I'm besides being allergic. I can't see myself owning one. Because yeah, Jeff is fucked up. He's a he's allergic to. Yeah, I mean, if you if anybody out there wants to murder me, lock me in the room with a cat for 24 hours. I'll be dead the next morning. Wait, you're dogs, allergic, however. Are you allergic to dogs? Dogs. Too? <clears throat> I think so, yeah, just animal dander in general. Oh, man, that sucks. Makes my fucking eyeballs swell up and... Uh, Did it, like, pop out of your head? It's it's a weird thing. I have contacts, so, like, something happens where, like, my eye almost swells when my contact starts, like, shifting off my eye because my eyeball changes shape or something. I can't explain it. Oh, really? Yeah. Even, like, with sushi, or, like, if she's around, it just happens? Or, like, is it... No, nah, like I mean, it takes a while. I have to, like... Yeah, he'll come over for dinner or something, and then... He'll leave early. Yeah. <laughs> just because she's around. Uh, if I touch there. the cat and touch my eye, it's immediate. But if I if I breathe in the dander for a few hours, if I go over to somebody's house with a cat, then then it starts. What is that? Is it like bacteria that lives on cats' like uh, fur or whatever? Or is it? Like... No, I think it's like the the skin cells or something. The that's dander. Just, that's really weird. Yeah. I don't know. And a lot of people are allergic to that. It's a fiber they put out. There's a lot of uh, cats that you could own. There's a couple of breeds of cats that you could own. <clears throat> If you're allergic to cats, you could uh, own a, um, a hairless, Bengal cat. Yeah, the hairless ones, right? You could own a Russian blue because their Russian skin blue. doesn't uh, produce the the. Those the cats are good, but they're little causes fucking allergic reactions. They're assholes. They bite you and stuff. Bengal cats are a pain in the ass, and they're expensive as fuck too. Yeah. But if you really want a cat, then go for it. I ca- I kind of wish I could just. The only thing I'd want as a pet is a little robot that's smarter than me. I want to be around something smarter than me. I don't want to be around something that just when, eats what, and sleeps all day. And I've got a it's a burden. It is kind of like a, it is kind of like a retarded kid. Almost. I would have thought because Jeff, you're like kind of cynical, in, like in general. Like yeah. so I would I wouldn't have thought yeah. it was an allergic thing. I thought it was just a. It's both. Yeah. It's, it's one. It's it could have been one or the other, but luckily I'm both. I'm, <laughs> I'm cynical and allergic. So in, in that regard, you don't really care about having pets or not. No. Yeah, I don't well, really. That's good. I don't really feel lonely not having an animal sleeping on the floor in front of me. And enough of the cynical don't. shit, all right? No, he's just cynical. He's you cynical. Know? Oh, he's no, bitter. I no, I get, I get it. it. No, I get it. But I don't want to say I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not an animal hater. It's like if I see somebody's dog like happily run up to me, I'll pet him and be like, ah, oh, hey, boy, and you know, whatever. No, I'm not saying you're like an asshole. All I was yeah. saying was like, what I, general, what I, I, just feel, I just don't have any need for I just You don't, don't seem like need. a guy who really like cares about a lot of things like in general. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Go, keep going. Yeah. What's that? Enough with the cynical shit. <laughs> I'm not digging you myself. You seem like you don't care about other human beings. No, no, I'm no he does. I'm curious how no, others no, no, no. perceive me. No, like what I perceive, 
you ask yeah. is like, you open this can of worms, go no, all out. No, it's not a bad can of worms. Yeah, uh, no. Like Jeff, Jeff's like really cool. What? Like, why would it ever be a bad can of worms? Well, I don't, Keep going. Yeah. Now. I'm a piece of shit. Okay. Continue. No, you're not. Je I just think. Yeah. I just think like you have the shtick that you're a little bit like cynical, but like I don't think that's a bad thing at all. I'm a real, the word I'm a, cynical I'm is not, synonymous with like angry guy. I'm a realist. No. I'm just no. a realist now. Yeah, realist. And like shit, the world you know, is Jeff. Shit. Jeff, they say oh, yeah, that. if you if you scratch if you scratch a disappointed idealist, you'll find a cynic. That's do what they, they say, do Jeff. They, do they say that? That's a but real. I don't think you're just a disappointed idealist, Jeff. You have to like like, like it's a lottery you card. You spend way too much time on Twitter, Zach. That's not a Twitter. No, but the point. My point George is, George Carlin like, said that, so fuck you. I guarantee that I can find that on Twitter, care of George Carlin. So fuck Whatever. me. Oh, well, yeah, fuck. George just, Carlin was a same, like in the way that Jeff is, the same way George Carlin was. They say they say things how they are, actually are. <sighs> Look, guy, I'm just keeping it real. That's what but, I'm doing. That's all. I'm, like, I'm not, yeah, I'm not, not all of a sudden it's cynical. I'm not fucking two faced. I was like trying to find a word for it. I was trying to find a word for it. What I don't get about these dog guys is or cat guys, they buy an animal, though it's gonna die like way before they will. Yeah. That's what I don't get. It's like you you get you get temporary <clears throat> happiness and attachment just to be super fucking bummed out and sad later. That's and what then you get about another one. Rats because they they're really smart and you you grow attached to them and they die in a right year. Right around the time that you're you're supposed to really bugs, like them, they die. Yeah, they fucking shrivel up and die. Turn I don't, black. People like cats because they what? What's the lifespan 15, of a cat? 15, 14, 15 years. Yeah, maybe long. twenty if you're lucky. I don't. I just yeah. That the dying part too. It's like my parent. My parents had a great cat. Like he kind of. He was like a barn cat that lived at this place, like, behind my parents' house. And he came up, and we started feeding him, and sort of adopted him. And he lived outside. He just lived outside the whole time. We even we put a little bed in the garage. We, we even ran a duct, heating duct, into his bed so he'd be heated. So he'd be oh, heated during the winter. Like, like, we fucking treated this cat like a king. We'd let him run around the yard. He, he, he pretty much had free roam. Like, he would... <laughs> Run around the yard, he'd play in the dirt, he'd come up, he'd bang on the window, we had these like low windows, he'd bang on the window to come in the house. This is a happy little cat. Did the window like smashing his head? No, 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 he'd just, he'd get no. up, he'd, he'd, he'd learn to train us, or he would, he would just start banging on the window with his paws, <laughs> telling us that's how, that's how he told us he wanted to come inside. Well, but, he died? Well, we had him for like 15 years, but this is the problem, he started going deaf, then he started going blind, then he really couldn't walk anymore. And it's just like this decline over like four months where you just every day you're just like, oh my fucking god. Yeah, that's yeah I, ha I my had dog a, my, right now. my friend's dog went like blind and deaf, and we'd like scream behind its ear and we'd just sit there mopey and keep walking it just, around. And it was so depressing. That would to happen. Look at. Yeah, and, and my and, dog's that's happening to it right now. It's a ca Cavalier King Charles, and it's 10 years old and it's like f declining like really fast. It's kind of sad. happen to you, Niall. We're going to be like, yeah, hey, Niall came to the office. You're going to be 26 and be going, going blind and deaf and wandering around, your bones are going to stop working. Yeah, my dad calls me. He's like, "Listen, uh, we're taking uh, Oreo to the, uh, you know, I'm putting him down. I don't know if you want to see him one last time." Let me guess. He was black and white. He was. That's a good, that's a good and guess. Uh, I said, "No, I don't want to see him one last time." And I hung up. I saw him enough. I saw him plenty of last time. Yeah, I saw. I like seeing him. Like seeing, when him you know, seeing him when he was walking. Do you regret that? No. I like the cat, I like the animal, but I didn't want to see him like lying there in pain. That's it wasn't like a heartless decision. I just didn't want to. It's wanna, just it's yeah. That, that, that's I'm just right. like I don't get why you can't put people down it. legally. Yeah. Who who would you put down? Zach? No people people who are dying of cancer and are in pain every single day. <laughs> one, right. one out of four of us. Out would of be everybody, gone down. We, everybody, everybody we know, Zach, who would you put down? Go, Corey. <laughs> You can like, just walk up to Corey and poke him in the needle. He'd be like, "What are you doing?" He'd be like, "I kill you." Be like, Corey's right. is, Corey is very helpful to me. Down? You know, it's a fun game. Uh, Stamper and I play sometimes. What's that? We try to organize everybody we know into who tastes the best. Like, if it was the movie Alive, if everybody crashed and died, like, who would we eat first? Who would you eat first out of all of us, Jeff? If everybody's sleepy cab, but a bit of, between Corey, Chris. Corey. I think, I think Corey tastes the best. Corey might be. Uh, I don't know. No, nah, Corey's Corey hairy. Corey is probably a shitty diet. Yeah, a fuck you guys. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna fat. cut my leg off, leg off and eat myself. Chris would taste like pancakes. <laughs> That'd be nice. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, what would what would uh, what would Nile taste like? Cigarettes and cigarettes dog and grass food. or something like that. Yeah, grass would be your main one actually. What do you think you'd taste like, Zach? I'd be disgusting and fatty. I'd be. I'd be like 90 percent fat. You couldn't even eat me. <laughs> It'd feel like if you went to a restaurant, you ordered steak, and they gave you like a bunch of fat on the side, you'd be yeah. feel ripped off. Zach, you're the only guy that I would eat and probably puke right out. <laughs> <laughs> While you were eating, you're just like, oh, oh. There's nothing else to eat, but I'm so hungry. This is too grisly and fatty. Stamper, what like, part of Zach's body would you eat first? Um, My ass. And be the most. It's just all fat. Right? Oh, that's right. 
Well, you could grill it up and make it. You could saute it. Bacon fat is the nicest part of bacon. Well, yeah, but it's it's balanced in a way. There's where, meat. Yeah, it's not just like fat. If you got somebody's butt cheeks open, it's j- j- literally just just, just fat. yellow fat. Yeah, it's nasty. <laughs> What about my leg? I don't run that much, but my leg would be all right. Not my cap. My I cap could, would be nothing. I could try to eat your legs. When you eat steak, it's 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 essentially muscle, right? Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's muscle it's with muscle. fat around it, right? Yeah. Yeah. That, like it, everybody's groaning listening to this. Because right like it, just say you're in the wild and we you certainly have to, yeah. we certainly <laughs> wouldn't want yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. to eat what eat the but, you know we wouldn't want to eat the viewers. You know what just mean? say you're in the wild and you want to kill a squirrel. Uh, you set a <clears> trap and the squirrel dies. You take out all the internal organs and you cook the muscle. That's that's the, the main part that you, that's the nutrients. That's the stuff. quote unquote meat. Yeah, you can also eat the liver. Yeah, there's like some parts if you know. You could eat you know, all of it if you, you want. You could you could but you might get sick with the intestines. <laughs> I would I would not eat a fucking squirrel brain. And don't eat the brain. No, the brain's always bad. The, that's what mad, mad cow disease came. Incorrect. That's not true. You're spreading lies again. You don't what, like what? you don't eat the bread? internal organs, but you can eat the brain. Yeah, yeah. You can, you can eat the brain. You can eat bro. The sorry, bones. you can't. I thought you could eat muscle, Nile. Oh, you're, Zach's bringing up an old argument here. But you don't want to pull up their organs and eat their internal. Like, if you go to a butcher's, if stuff, you go to a butcher's, they'll know how to make the brain edible. You can bring but, a squirrel <clears> to the butcher's. We were talking about survival. Survival of the brain. I would not eat the brain. Do any of you guys? It's, it gives you diseases. You like diseases? Wait, no. No, I don't like diseases. Do you know what I don't like? Do you any of you guys like eating tendon? Tendon. Like when we go to a, the Thai restaurant, the Thai place. Oh, that's the, the, like, the, the Vietnamese place. There's a like they they have like really good pho or pho. Yeah. And then they, they you can order it with big chunks of fucking. That's tendon. really gamey. I always think I'm chunky, gonna like, like it, hard but bit. then I don't. It's like It's the it. shit that like attaches See, the muscle to the bone, and it's, and it's really it's, hard to chew. Yeah. It's yeah. tendon. I mean, why would you? It's like the it's like the body's natural gummy bears, but fucking disgusting. But disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you, Jeff. <laughs> the body's natural Natural gummy bears. But gummy bears are, <laughs> are intrinsically delicious. I, don't, I can't, I don't know, tendon really bothers me. I don't like it. Yeah, it, it does. It, it, I, I, I can eat stuff the pizza. Times and I always feel like I'm going to like it because I'm, I'm cool with it. I like food. their meatballs, but then they fucking stuff the meatballs with little tendon pieces, and I can't stand it. Oh. But anyway, yeah. Mm-mm, delicious. Yummy, yum tendons, delicious. Jeff, how do you think you taste? I don't know, Zach. I've been eating a lot of vegetables <laughs> lately, so... You'd be tasty. I think I'd be all right. I think Jeff would be pretty be, tasty. Jeff, yeah. you'd probably be one of the better ones in the group. <laughs> well, I'm not living off uh, Wawa hoagies every day, so... I probably <laughs> hey, I had Chinese food them. today. They and coffee. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Fair enough. Yeah, dude. If I took a bite of you, Zach, and it was just like a mouthful of cup noodles, I would puke. Skip, what if, what, if my, what if my severed face was staring at you while you ate me? Would Why would think? I cut your face off? Ah, because you don't like to look at it, but you leave it on the, you leave it on the floor and it's looking at you, like scowling. And I, my hand is pointing at you. I, I deep fry I get your hard skin, and Zach. Keep. <laughs> what? I deep fry like your skin and ears and eat it. I like crispy. how Jeff's, uh, Jeff's scenario, he's got like a kitchen with a deep Yeah, he's got like a nice, he's got a nice <laughs> skillet, you're gonna I'm just throw saying, me up. I ate some pretty weird shit in South Korea, and uh, I don't know, it gives me ideas. That's a good topic. What's one of the weirdest things you've eaten and, wait, no. Pussy. Because... Uh, <laughs> Because we've eaten weird things, but what's one of the weirdest oh, things shit. you've eaten that you actually liked and would eat again? Man, you better come back to me. I need a minute there. I need a minute. Yeah, to me too, this. actually. I, I'm very boring. I don't know what a beef jerky is, but it's delicious. It's I, not it, exotic. God, it's meat, man. Yeah, it's not, though. It's like it the, is. Dude, it's like the sphincter. It's salted. It's salted meat. It's the worst kind of meat, They don't though. have beef jerky Do you know what? Do you no, know what no, no, fact about beef jerky blew my mind that I didn't really know until recently. I it's don't a, think they, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think they actually cook it. No. It's just dried out. It's dried yeah. out, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I, I never knew that. Yeah, all it that is. That was like a big part of my childhood is we had a, a food dehydrator. <laughs> yeah. And we used to make all kinds of shit. We used to put bananas and all kinds of stuff in there. I only had it for the first time recently yeah, and it's, it's delicious, but I do. It just I'm, yanks all the moisture out. Yeah. And yeah. It, the, and you salt it too, right? Well, you can. You de-moisturize yeah. it, yeah. But uh, yeah, beef jerky. Like I know, like even though I know it's all the worst parts of the animal. Like it's like it's a, not. It has it's to delicious. Be. Oh, I like scrapple. There. What's scrapple? Scrapple. It's the pig. Scrapple it's literally is scrap. Every part of the pig. Scrap. That's and, not and pork chops cor- and ham hocks. And it's mixed <laughs> with corn. Yeah, it's like all these leftovers mixed with cornmeal, and they form it into like a block. It's like, it's like the like the skeleton of the pig, too? No, no, no. no. It's, it's just it's like organs, liver. They use all the parts of the pig, and they grind it together, and then they mix it with 
filler. Cor- like cornmeal or filler, yeah. They put it into a block, and up here in the northeast, they slice it, and they fry it. You, it it's like this horrendous gray color. And the, but once it's fried, it's not bad. It looks normal, and it tastes it tastes all right. But you just got to get over think you got to get over thinking about just, what it is. Yeah, yeah never ask what's in it. People bitch about yeah. hot dogs, but then there's scrapple. <laughs> it's like it's when people say mystery meat. This is literally the most mystery mystery meat there is. Like you like, know, have eyeballs and it shit. It could be like it probably could be almost anything in there. And teeth, but it's not bad. I I ate it growing up, so which is kind of cool because they're not wasting the pig. Yeah, you know? I mean, <clears throat> full use of his death. And anytime I go to a diner with somebody I've ne- uh, who's never had it before, I always order it. I just want to watch them cringe in front of me. But the taste is okay. It's always what yeah, it I, I, I think I think I have no problem with like with with psychology or fear. Like if somebody says this is like a cow eyeball, I'll be like, oh, I'll try it out. But if it tastes gross, it tastes gross. A lot of people like 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 mussels, to- like clam mussels, like mussels are delicious. But a lot of people don't like them because they, they they sound gross. But it's fucking tasty. You have to feed somebody something first, yeah. and then tell them what it is later. Yeah. What about? I was one of those benevolent believers when you kids. gave me that muscle that kids, time. Kids, yeah. The thing that a lot of people like that I have the hardest time eating though is uh, like blue cheese. I love blue cheese. I, I love blue, I blue cheese. Blue cheese. I fucking blue gag. Cheese. I gag Team blue eating cheese. it. Blue cheese, extra sharp cheddar cheese. No, I love that. Zach. Okay, wait. I've Dark chocolate. Is, is do you not like blue cheese <clears throat> only because you were a of what it was before you ate no. it. No, I don't know. See, that's interesting because I think I liked it as a kid, but now, not only just knowing it, but the taste, the taste itself just really triggers something inside of me. That Has really anybody ever snuck blue cheese into something that you ate that you thought was phenomenal? But maybe then later as a kid, on, maybe as, I feel like as a kid I ate it. But, <sighs> but now, if I, if I, like, you came over to the house. And you had a blue cheeseburger, would you say, no, I'm not going to eat that? If I eat something not knowing, there, there's like another cheese that's like blue cheese, but it's not called blue is cheese. Is it feta cheese? Not feta. It's or, Feta cheese is good, too. Oh, wait, I got we, we were at that. We were at that Italian place the one time, and I ordered a salad, and it came with a cheese, like, in that blue cheese group, and I just, it ruined the whole <laughs> fucking thing for me. Is it because, you know, it's like mold, like, it's 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 aged cheese? Let's that know, that does not it. help, but the t- it is the taste, though. The but, taste uh, okay, so have you guys tried feta? Feta cheese, yeah, it's not. Yeah. probably yeah. have. Yeah, feta cheese, I can't eat it because it looks like smegma. Oh my god, would you not say that anymore? <laughs> did I say that before? Why do you? Dead. Were you just staring? You're always staring at smegma. Is your wiener that dirty? That <laughs> no, it's not. I just like, got. I don't know what it looks this. like, dude. I got tricked into looking at smegma on Wikipedia, and ever since Trick. then, I couldn't. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh Somebody swindled god. you into looking at dick cheese on Wikipedia. Can yeah. you elaborate a little bit on this? Yeah, I was. Uh, some guy <laughs> sent me. I didn't know what smegma was, and he sent me the Wikipedia of smegma, and I. I saw the picture of like this like dick and it had all this like white shit on it and it looked like feta cheese and ever since then I can't eat feta cheese without thinking that there's smegma sprinkled all over that pizza or whatever the fuck cool. it is. Oh, man, so, you, so, so like if you're eating you're, food, you're and, uncircumcised wiener is far. So you're the kind of person if you're, about, if, you're, if, you're, if you're eating pizza and I, I look like <laughs> I look at the pepperoni, I'm like that's a scab. You won't eat the pizza. No, just just really just smegma, <clears throat> just smegma. That's <clears throat> weird. I I can I I eat whatever. You know I don't think about that kind of thing. The brain is a powerful place. Yeah, yeah. I can't eat I can't eat it. It just makes me like vomit. That's I it's a, I I like you're you're blaming me as if I have control over it. I don't. It, it's you like, explaining that makes me feel like you would ring a dick out and get all the blue cheese off the. Dick. It looks like it looks like there's just a line of dicks with smegma. Someone just scraped it all off and just. God damn! Sp- shut up! Sprinkled Stop it, talking! Stop. Sprinkled it all over. Stop. I'm with him. Stop. I'm a stamper. Stop! God, yeah. Please, God, Niall. It's dick, horrible, dick, man. Dick cheese. Yeah, that's why they call it. Chip, anybody chip, else have any other weird, food, awful foods? They. Uh, oh, I do. Uh, dick cheese. Yeah, dick cheese. Well, what's, what's besides one? blue dick cheese? Uh, oh no, 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 dick cheese. Oh no, you're confusing it with dick cheese. We're talking about dick cheese. It's a French type right. of cheese. I went to a Mexican restaurant in San Diego, and um, it was one of those places where it's kind of <coughs> like a poor man's Chipotle, where you go up and you pick the meat you want in, and so forth and so on. Okay. Yeah. And then one of them was cow tongue. Oh. And they were really serious about it. So when I got up to the counter, they prepare everything right in front of you. And they pulled this big ass cow tongue out and put it on the table. Like, was it a tongue? Like, and was they it actual... chopped it like this. Oh my God, really? Yeah, and it was still connected to the, the back of the, the, oh, back oh, of the shit. throat. And Ugh. when I got it, I looked inside the taco and I could still see the taste buds in the cow's tongue. Oh my god, really? It, it was such an odd pattern in the little chunks. They like, they chopped it up so perfectly where every little cow tongue part was in a perfect little cube. And at the top of every little cube 
it was just dotted with this texture. geometrical pattern of like holy fuck. And I, I was I I will say that it was absolutely delicious. Really? But did you taste their taste buds? I, well, I tried everything. They had like some bullshit pork, and then they had the cow tongue. But they also had this other one called a cow head, which I know is was it the full head? Just yeah, just in just a little in a burger. Just, yeah. just two, <laughs> two burger. <laughs> but I knew that that was like a delicacy. Like when you have like when you do like cookouts in Mexico and South America, like you you do the underground roasts where you bury and then like the head is where all the best parts are and I guess essentially what they do is like after the roasting process they all the skin and the shit on the face they pull it all off and they chop that all up and it was fucking horrible I couldn't stomach it it that, was just like this mix of shit that I didn't that understand sounds fucking... but at the same time I've had beef cheek and it was one of the best meals I've what, ever was that the cheek of a cow? Li quite literally yes what? It good? and it was like pot roast it Which was cheek? so nice uh, the left one I don't fucking the know butt cheek? no no I mean like top or bottom oh you mean the butt cheek or the face cheek like I don't know what what is it that's a good point I don't know <laughs> you don't know either <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some cooking shows where they actually take the cow head yeah and they like they slice it they slice I don't know what they do but they slice the meat off it they uh I mean you know it's a little disturbing well there's still muscle there so it's gonna taste like the the rest of the muscle I, mean, I assume would you eat a cow head or somebody, like, is somebody... that where the emotion is or something like yeah, I mean we're, we're just we're just as happy to eat a piece of meat cut out of a cow's rib cage, but then when it comes to their face, we're like, oh, exactly. it's, it's that's, too hard. That's what I'm thinking. It's because, oh, that's what, that, that's well, what I could, their Well, I could eat a human's eyes. torso with no problem, but the second I see a human head, human is I get to, freaked out. Human you know is supposed is? to taste like pork. You know, it was the show I was watching. They actually take the cow head, they peel all the meat off the face. Yeah, that's And the then thing. they roll it, like, into a thing, and then they slice it down. And but it's almost, a muscle, I assume. Almost, it's not, it's, yeah, it's like, it's a combination of, like, skin, muscle, and fat. Wow. But they slice it down like it's, like, a well, sandwich meat or something. Yeah, it's, essentially, it's like Scrapple. It's just yeah. a mix of shit. Yeah. I didn't like it, though. You see a cross-section, and it's, like, the weirdest pattern you've ever seen. Do you guys find it really weird that we still, like, we're, we're this far advanced that we still kill animals like that? You have to eat other animals? No, but, uh, they're actually growing it's like, that's vegan. Like, that's, I was gonna say, it's not like a ve vegetarian thing. I just think it's weird that we're these really advanced things that can go to, like, space. Yeah, we still have to, like, make other animals and we fucking still eat them. Your animals and you would think we'd invent, you think, to yeah, you'd think we'd invent a way to, like, <laughs> no. not have to eat or eat some, like, some kind of paste or something. I think it's weird. No, but Zach, uh, they're actually... Fuck, uh, this is coming from a guy, by the way, who fucking loves meat. There, there's a big industry I starting right now. I think it'd be right weird now. if I was like, hey, Zach, you want to go to lunch? And you were like, no, I got my paste tube. Yeah. And you squeeze it in your I mouth. just had a bunch of fucking uh, paste. Thank you, though. No, but I there's... Didn't meaning to try that stuff. I think you're going you to talk about it. Yeah, yeah, there's, like, a big industry kind of starting now where they're uh, growing animal parts in labs where they uh, to oh. eat. That's not what you were talking about, no. Jeff. No, they're actually growing <laughs> animals without brains, so they're not actual animals, but they have all the parts of animals, and like you know, it's supposed to be vegan friendly and all that shit. It must be expensive. Can... That's yeah. cool. I, the, the, I thought that I'd was be down with vegan food if they didn't saturate it with salt because they were so lacking in flavor. I'd also, be down I with... would care if vegans were fucking yellow and like yeah. their, their skeletons were showing. They're, yellow. They're, like, yeah. they're fucking gray. They're, yeah, yeah. yeah, they're gray and translucent. They look yeah. like fucking aliens, <laughs> yeah. dude. They're like these disgusting veiny monsters. You're like, I'm so healthy. It's like, Jesus, fuck it away from me. <laughs> it's, but it's like, here's a leaf. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, I just had two crackers. I'm fine. Thank you, you Jeff, fucking animal you killer. Know, I'm totally cool with the vegetarian diet. I would eat a vegetarian diet all day. Vegan? Some of the best meals I've ever had are vegetarian Fantastic. meals. But vegans are a whole nother yeah, level. But Jeff, did you know there's a type of vegan who won't eat anything unless it's fallen to the ground naturally? Like if a banana falls to the ground, that's, they'll only eat Here's that. Here's the thing with vegans. I don't give a fuck what you do to yourself, but... There's these asshole vegan parents who force their growing child yeah. to live under that diet, and they come out. They come up five foot two. Yeah, they're 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 short. They're malnourished. They yeah. have no no like their bone structure is all fucked up. They have no muscle on them. Yeah, they look sick. They look like they're gonna fucking drop dead and die. Yep. Yeah. And the parent the parent is delusional as fuck. They're just like oh they're yeah, healthy. Just hippies. And they, ha they have a, an insanely, like, <clears throat> natural diet, so they don't yeah. even supplement with multivitamins. Yeah, they won't, they won't do that because it has to be something that's found in nature, like, that grew on a tree or some shit. There's those weirdos that, you know, there's, these, like, these expensive restaurants that serve, I guess what you call, like, raw food. Like, they'll yeah they'll yep. make spaghetti, but there'll, there'll be no noodles. There's, like, no real sauce. It's all just raw. It's like julienne squash and... Yeah, like, the noodles are made out of squash Ugh. and... Uh, Ugh. Yep. It, yeah, I don't know. Hey, don't like, crack on squash, all right? It's delicious. I'm with cracking a vegan's giving a little baby squash. It's it's gross. Gross. Yeah. Do you know what exactly soy is? Because they seem to be able to make anything out of soy, like soy spaghetti, soy apples. Like, what the fuck? They can what the make. What fucking my fucking Wikipedia? Well, you know about food. I, I was just wondering. I don't cook with soy. You know why? Because it's not. 
not delicious. It's not delicious, and you're you right. You want delicious, talk to me. If you want soy, talk to the Asian <laughs> guy up the street. I gotta say, Snapper, mac and cheese, dude, that shit would make you millions, but you somehow don't that don't market it. That's right. <laughs> mac and cheese. You oh, want yeah, good mac like and cheese? Stamper's mac and Go cheese. Go to Stamper. Stamper'smacandcheese.com. Yesterday, Stamper was making mac and cheese, and he goes, ah, do you want mac and cheese, or do you want real mac and cheese? And I was like, real mac and cheese? And then he, like, cooked up some fucking amazing, I don't even know what it was. Yeah, I don't even want to ask. It was just some sort of cocktail of delicious mac and cheese. That's right. It was delicious. It was. <laughs> but that fucking falling to the ground fruit stuff, fruit diet, I don't There's get that. There's a term for that. I forget what it is. Fucking retards. Yeah, they're fucking ended. Retards. <laughs> ended. There's a bunch of hippies. I, I love the people who eat, they won't eat meat, but they'll eat fish. They, 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 they but then like people oh, kick it out of the trees. They'll wait for it to fall on the ground. They'll stand by a tree. Uh, do, you, do you think they cheat? Like they kind of blow on something to kind of make it kind of fall? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hungry. Yeah, they, push, <laughs> they push the apple tree and they're like, please, love of God, please. They get like a, they get like a natural like they get like a monkey and they just kind of hit it off the yeah, apple. They throw the fucking starts, monkey in the tree and see if it. Yeah, that's the one problem with it because like animals fucking knock fruit off trees. So like, why is that? Why is that okay? And humans doing it isn't okay. They don't want to hurt. But the thing the about tree. most vegans, it, I'm saying most vegans because probably not all of them are like this, but they're also like vocal about it. They're like. As a vegan, you shouldn't uh, cook food like that. Well, you like, know the saying, Nile. You know how to tell who's a vegan. What? Don't worry, they'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That, that's <laughs> Why did the vegan cross the road? Because he, I don't know. I don't know, because he's a fucking malnourished skeleton. He wanted to go buy was, fake <laughs> food. I thought it was because he was chasing the chicken so he can put it back in the pen because he felt so bad for it. No, no, it's because his dick was stuck in the chicken. Oh, wait, no, that's because the gay guy crossed the road. Wait, why would a gay guy fuck a chicken? I don't know. Because yeah. <laughs> gay guys are they're bestiality, don't you know? I was telling that joke when I was a kid. Why did the gay guy cross the road because his dick was stuck in the chicken? <laughs> it's like, yeah. it's like, it has nothing to do with <laughs> being gay, with being gay no, at all. Whatsoever. <laughs> why did the gay guy die? Because he had poisonous blood and he wasn't a human. Oh. <laughs> I don't really fall, yeah. He was in his blood and didn't want to... His AIDS blood off. melted through the floor like an That's alien. Horrible. Like an alien That's blood horrible. That's horrible, not funny. He got AIDS from fucking chickens. <laughs> <laughs> well, people we know think, everything. There, <laughs> there are people that think that AIDS came from a black, like a person in Africa. Fucking and a monkey, and that's 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 how you know. Really? Is that what happened? Really? Yeah. yeah Abdul Mc, uh, fucked the monkey. That's his actual name. <laughs> um, yeah, because it was Abdul Mc. You should, you should stop reading those those websites, Nile. Those racist websites. There is a racist website that you uh, read. No, I don't read it. He reads. It's uh, called um, Stormfront and Nmania.com. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't remember what it was called, but. Uh, I, I saw like a, a username that really impressed me on that website. What was it? Show his class. It was called, like this is racist, but this isn't me. I was just doing it out of curiosity, but the, the username that really impressed me was called Lynch Jamal. But if you say it really fast, it's Lynch Jamal. And I thought that, that just that was a very clever username. Wow, that's, I think you wow. just applied that and gave him credit for You something. just gave an extreme racist credit for being, for being really creatively racist. No, I'm giving- For I'm, inventing a new way to hate black people. No, 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 because there's like three levels to that pun that I thought was pretty clever. But I don't agree <laughs> with what he's doing. I'm not racist at all. I'm just saying that that was a pretty Why clever. Why were you on a website with that guy as a username? Because it's funny. I, like, I just think I, it's, it's fascinating to see the, the, the like insight of what racists think. Edu so it's educational. Educational, completely educational. You know, you know I, I frequent KKK.com and frequent the forums and post. <laughs> I, I frequent. I'm an insider, you know, but it, you know, it's just fascinating. I always wonder about the guys that run those like hardcore like white supremacist sites. Like they get a lot of traffic. Yeah. And then they have to call their server <clears> companies and be like, yeah, you know, my site went down for 24 hours and it's like, so what's your site? And it's like, well, I hate niggers.org and <laughs> I need to go. get it back up and running. There so we go. It's out of the water. I wasn't going to say the name because I didn't want to, I didn't, like, that's not the name, but I wasn't going to say a name because I didn't want to give those pieces of shit credit. <laughs> Who gives a shit? What's, I don't know, right? I hate niggers.org isn't a real site. No, I'm not going to no, no, give you any slag. I'm just, <laughs> I just don't want to. No. Dot ninja. Dot gov. Dot yeah. dot it's those. I kind of say something about those sites too. Like, you, like you, they need moderators and administrators. Yeah, it's yeah. like a serious but business they, to hate people. But the whole thing isn't actually just hate. It's they have all these subsections like movies, 
home cooking, like furnishing. And then it's yeah, when you go on the forums, and then it's like the top, the top part is like nigger hating sci-fi movies. You go, you go into the section like they're discussing a movie like Inception, and it's like it seems like a normal conversation, a relatively normal conversation. But then you look at the the usernames, and it's like Obama banana eater, and like and like Ob uh, like the the icon is Obama eating a banana, and it's like all like that. yeah. He's he's like I wasn't a fan of Inception. The directing was really poor. It's like, yeah. what the fuck? Why, yeah. why are you on here? Dude? But, but the like our, our point here is like none. It's it's the absurdity of these sites. Yeah, that, it's yeah, it's absurd. Yeah, it's like a legitimate community under the guise of any. It's yeah. like, I guess essentially it's like any other community. Like yeah. you, have, you can kind of tell they're all these white suburban idiots that never they never, never counted a real black guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah completely. They, they sound. They don't even sound poor. They sound. They're just kind of like middle class bored idiots that have nothing better to do than sit on these message boards all day. Like the poor people, they're out working. Yeah, the poor they don't have people time are out in the that. fields all day. Yeah, which fields? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> poor, poor <laughs> yeah, yeah. words. The uh, dirt fields, the tomato the fields. I don't fields. know. Picky white people out of the ground, fresh. Damn white people. Cotton Damn is, fucking cotton, cis cotton whites. Cotton is white. I will say that I'm getting sick of white people. Let me They're tell you something, y'all. Just to kill them. The white. I am so sorry for every minority for being having to deal with white people. Don't say that. Don't say that. Every day I wake don't up. Say what? <laughs> don't say that. Are you serious? I am so fucking sick. Don't apologize. Yeah. Don't apologize for being I white. I am so sorry for being for white. Being white. white. I am so sorry. Don't do that. Guys, every I'm day I wake up, I look in the mirror and scream. <laughs> I shriek, ah, oh, white, white. And I, I punch the mirror. Yeah, but I, can, I can't stand what, it. What a, what look a, at the facts. White people bitch more than anybody they, you will yep, ever meet. Correct. About the most trivial fucking bullshit. They complain about the most fucking trivial shit. They're the fucking most. They, they have. Who's the, your best friend? That Mexican guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have the worst priorities the ever. Dude. Like the absolute worst, worst priorities. priorities. It's so true that black people don't have time to be social justice warriors. It's like it's rich, mm -hmm. rich white kids who My are new projecting onto others. Yeah, that, yeah. You know, it, it, it's all like white people. Like this is what blacks think. So the blacks are all those Tumblr fans. Yeah. White people. It's yeah, it, it really is. It's a bunch of Dude, jizz bags exactly. living in I've, San Francisco. I've been told. Yes. I've been told. I was, I was, uh, wearing plaid shirts I'm and fucking yeah. having serious. huge earrings and white horn, horn rim glasses. I'm a self loathing white. Zach, person. I, I, I've been told I was white people are the devil by more white people than I can count. It's always like a big. It's a fat white guy with like thick glasses. Like you're a faggot. Like wearing plaid with those fucking plug earrings. Like you're yeah. you're a, you white male privilege. You're like what the fuck, oh. dude? You, you make like eighty thousand dollars a year living in San Francisco. Yeah, you're yeah, fucking dude. Apple computer. What are you talking about? Yeah, like, do you think that, like, uh, th it's kind of ironic the way that they think that they're speaking for black people because they can't yes, speak Yes, and whenever black guys are like, dude, that's not what I think. They're like, like, shut yeah, up. You, you, shut up. You're you're most, yeah. the you have a totalized race, they're racism. They're the most racist of all. Like, I think, I think black people can speak for themselves. Yeah, th yeah. Or women. Or women, or can, women can speak for themselves. They don't need to be protected by Everybody some pale San Francisco jizz bag. Exactly. Everybody can speak for themselves. Straight white guys don't need to kick down the doors of gay guys and defend their fucking rights. Yeah. It's like, like they're fucking weak. That's like, the irony oh, of it all, I'll, though. I'll protect you. You're too weak to speak <laughs> yeah. up for yourself. I'll protect you. Just don't worry about those things that those guys Just sit over there and suck a dick while I do your rights for you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> That is the irony of all of it. Like honestly, they think that they. It's, uh, have you ever? Have you ever seen these? That's why I like black girls. That's why I, I like love black girls. Me and Stabber talked about this. We both like really like black girls. You know why? Because white girls bitch too much. They complain about everything. Black, black girls, girls walk up and punch the girl for and the nose. And they're fucking hilarious. And they're funny. They're, 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 sassy. they're really funny. No, no, don't, I don't know don't about. Say that. I didn't know this. Not. I'm just kidding. They're sassy black girls. No, black girls are fucking funny. You like, like your coffee black, do you? No, I, I I like white girls too. I, I like. I think they're all hot. like. I just like like girls if they're hot. They're hot. I don't. I don't care what color right. skin they have, but if they're black, I think that they have like another like element of being like you're a true uh, evolutionary. Of your how black do you like them? Like they're purple black or like light light brown black? It depends on do you how like funny purple skin, yellow eyes. <laughs> no, no, that's not <laughs> how it is at all. No, I just think black, black people are, are, are cool. Uh, it could yeah. be just a history of like pain or whatever, but like it probably isn't. But like you know, that's what people kind of say. It's like oh, they they see the bright side of things because like you know. The only thing I hate, the only thing I hate is when I get a little uh -oh. too chummy. No, 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 no. I get a little too chummy with one, and then he throws out like the fancy black eye handshake like and it's like, like every, the, the, the every, slap, every, slap, slap, every region has like 23 special black eye handshakes and then like the first move is like your 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 signal to like what handshake it is but I don't know it's like the, the fastest way to make a white guy feel stupid is to throw out these handshakes at him and I'm and he's like doing all his moves and I'm like struggling to keep up you're just like high five he's like a oh, fucking white cracker yeah, get like, and I apologize after I'm like I'm sorry I'm so sorry I'm white forgive me yeah I didn't realize I'm so sorry for being 
being a white guy. Your biggest mistake is holding your hand away from your face. You have to hold your hand at a 45 <clears throat> degree angle with all your, your fingers like pointing for, down. Force him into a white guy handshake. Yeah. Force him into a white guy handshake <laughs> I immediately. See. But if you and actually, it, if you do it right, if you lock the right way, right. your whiteness starts to overwhelm him. He starts to turn lighter. If you if you That's open true. up a handshake, <laughs> looking like you're going to slap somebody in the face, then bad things are going to happen. You have to cock what if he in it. So what if he initiates if Somebody it. needs to animate this because it's really difficult. So if he if a black guy initiates a handshake where he... I don't know. That, I don't know. Maybe I could. Maybe I could force a white white guy handshake on. What? If, yeah. What if you go, like, go, go I hello? So you can't, you can't deviate. You just have to push your hand out really hard. Straight, at a straight. Degree angle. Well, all your fingers pointed forward from, from your chest out with a big white guy face. You have, what to, if, you have to overpower him with your whiteness. What if, like, just before <laughs> get they get the right in there with handshake. their handshake, you get in there with your ninety degree straight ahead fucking robotic handshake? I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have to remember this. This is a good. This is a good. Jeff, you, have you, you seen? Do you, oh, think it's, do you think it's a good idea to overpower a black guy with your whiteness? I think that's been a couple times, you know, been done a couple times before. In the have past. you seen Listen, Zach? Zach, <laughs> Zach, have you seen the video of Obama? Uh, he was your shaking, hero, Hitler. I think it was. Every, he did hate the blacks. He hated the Jews. All right. Have you ever heard of the phenomenon called uh, cuckolding? Yes. Cuckolding? Yeah. What do you think the psychology behind that is? How is it a phenomenon? Can someone explain this to me? I don't know what this is. Cuckolding is when a white guy wants his wife to fuck a huge black dude. That's this, it has not, nothing to do with a black guy. That's you not, don't think you boys spread always, lies that is not act, That is not exactly... That is not, that's Jeff, not exactly you, can you, accurate. Jeff, can you enlighten us? Why is it always a big black It doesn't guy? even it's, have to be it's, sexual, it's, it's basically really. uh, It's basically a married guy who's uh, who's sort of letting... He almost let, His wife is all fucking another guy, and he's just letting it happen, Yeah, basically. and he, he kind of gets off to it, but he... he at Why the same did time you time add a black guy into that? What the yeah, hell? It really has nothing to do with a black guy. I thought it was always to do with... I thought it was a black guy. Yeah, because you spend too much time on porno sites, It just... I do spend. That, well, that may be true. I'm not That's sure not where if, I got my information. I'm from. not sure if he wants it to happen, Dude, but it's a spineless white guy. <laughs> well, listen. You call him a cuckold if he's married and his wife's all fucking. Wait, he guy. is the cuckold or is the girl? The you know, cuckold? POV the is right. It's where someone sucks your dick until you come in their face, and, and it's a black guy. Yeah, it's a black guy, <laughs> fucking a little petite Asian girl. Well, Dude, like you're you could racist. Be, it's, it's like being uh, pussy alphaed by another guy. But why is he black? You, you get. He, what are you talking about, Nile? I mean, it's possible. Could the black. The black guy could be a black guy could be involved. Let me tell you why he's black, because he's better than you, baby. Do they want to be his dick is bigger, <clears throat> his pecs are bigger, his biceps are bigger, his wallet's bigger. Well that's no that's no uh, he, smells, he probably than, smells better, dude. Yeah, he smells no like that black oil and Egyptian musk. There's no dispute that black people are more like uh like uh endomorphic than white people like they, they grow or mesomorph like they, they grow. Do they have acid blood? No, that's why black people are in generally like like bigger and stronger than white people and faster than white people. Here we go. Here we go. This well, is it's true. Metal. I do that. Oh, they're like better it. at basketball because they have better snap reflexes. That guy, no, that, because uh, they're just fucking. They have extra tendon to their legs. A coach just said. A basketball coach just said what you said, and he got fired. Wait, but why is that racist? You just got fired from this podcast. Bro. Why is that racist? Wait, wait, stop. Wait, can you please explain to me why oh, wait, I'm being racist? Uh, wait, no, he's from Ireland. He can't be racist. Let me ask you. Oh. How, have, how many black guys? I haven't met a black guy until I came here. All right. Okay. Say whatever you want, dude. Uh, what is, I, I don't know if you're being sarcastic here or not. I'm Wait, not being dude. sarcastic. Say whatever you want. Your As of everything you know about black people, you read on the internet. But I, I, all I know is that black people are stronger and they play better basketball. I've seen plenty of weak, out of shape black people. Yes, plenty. Yeah, you do. You see those, but they, like black people Steve are... Steve Urkel. Case closed. Let's Fucking move on. Stu or what's his name? Yeah, but what about Stefan Urkel? Fuck you, Stamp. <laughs> yeah, what about what fucking Shaquille O'Neal? What about the fucking Stevie from Malcolm in the Middle? What about The Rock? <clears throat> what, what about, about Bruce from Willis? From what about Arnold Schwarzenegger? The guy in the wheelchair that had what? breathing problems? I didn't say shit. What are you talking about? <laughs> you could just change the subject. Bro. Here's, here's a, Stamp had a really good point because I felt I felt guilty because but, I undertipped the delivery guy about two weeks ago. It was like um, I, the total for the bill was I thought it was thirty dollars, so I gave him thirty six. That's a good tip. But it was thirty three forty dollars. Oh, I was 30, there for that. Thirty four dollars. <laughs> I gave him, and I still gave him thirty six. So he had like a two dollar tip, and I felt horrible. Yeah, I, I remember and Stanford, that. you were saying like I shouldn't feel bad because he's just a driver. Well, well, that's the thing. Because you were like, a driver too, right? Stanford, I think you have a bit of black blood in you. When you, what does it have to, like when you when you deliver pizza, it's not like tipping fifteen percent. For a waitress or a waiter, which is what I usually do. I do fifteen because or 20. she comes back consistently. When I delivered pizza, I got 
They would just give me two bucks. Is that fair, do you think? Two, three dollars. And that was completely acceptable for delivery drivers. See, I, I do 20% on, on, on whatever I go on to everything. restaurants coming, or whatever. Yeah. They're not coming back to your table and refilling your water. Yeah. They're not coming back and attending to all. They're coming here once. I, I did something fucking stupid. I, I undertipped that guy and I felt so, I was wrecked with guilt. You could ask Niall, I was yeah. wrecked with guilt yeah. while I was eating. I was eating really sad. We were sitting down watching and Zach was just kind of looking at the ground for the rest of the, the And night. then, what did you do? To compensate, it makes no sense. It's completely fucking stupid. I felt so horrible about it. I ordered Chinese. You overtipped a different guy. Thanks for bringing the punchline, Niall. Was that it? I, did, I haven't heard the punchline, though. That was it, yeah. Wait, no, 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 say it again. We cut my bit out. I felt so horrible about undertipping the, the, the one guy that I overtipped a different guy, completely different guy from a different restaurant. And by overtip, you mean? I, it was a $15 thing, and I gave him $25 because I felt Ooh, so horrible. Wow. I know, I know. I felt that guilt-ridden. And it was a Chinese dude, and I'm not joking. He was like, oh, thank you, thank you. And now every, that's why, that was not racist. That was exactly how he said it. Exactly. He literally bowed to me like, Put, not racist. Put his hands together. Oh, did, but, but, did his uh, triangle hat fall off when he did Yes. <laughs> no, like, seriously. Oh, chong, chong. Seriously, no. It's just every, <laughs> every, it makes no sense because, like, the dude I undertipped is just pissed off at me, and the dude I overtipped, like, they're, they're never going to talk to each other, but now every time I order food from the Chinese place, that dude always comes. And he's super stoked every time he comes because he thinks I'm going to overtip him again. Zach, uh, whenever we <laughs> order food from Sleepy Cabin, you don't buy vegetables because they cost more than pizza. <laughs> Yeah, no, so you don't buy vegetables. Fuck you, Jeff. The vegetables ass, come on the pizza. And you don't understand mm. the lemon pepper and butter. <laughs> I understand now. High five. Stamper, I that was for him, I not you. Well, I, Stamper, I can high actually five, right? make lemon cod. I can do it and lemon I can cook cod. it. Fuck you. Did oh, you ever, fuck you. You guys, you guys are going to burn your new your house down. Did you ever cook tilapia? I'm looking forward to it. I can cook it. Yeah, I can cook <laughs> it. That stuff is the shit. But anyway, yeah. uh, on the, an occasion we tilapia order... Tilapia is really high in protein. Oh, dude. It has more protein than salmon. Really? Because tilapia is supposed to be the poor man's salmon. I fucking hate salmon. I fucking salmon's hate it. Salmon's delicious. I fucking, I fucking fuck hate you, salmon. Fuck you, Jeff. Salmon's delicious. I, I, I don't call mind it fish. fish. The king of fish or the king of the sea? See, actually, I don't like, like, like fishy fish. It makes me sick. This what a fucking pew. But when I have salmon, it's so good. Exactly. Yeah, but I, I can only eat fish when it's deep fat fried. But anyway, Jeff, what were you? Uh, Jeff Brody and cheese. Have you ever gone fishing, Zach? I have, yeah. all the time. I used to go camping, I used to go fishing, fishing dirt bike riding, hunting. Dude, my I grew life, up in the Midwest, oh, Jeff. Here we go. My life is tragic. You as never fuck. left your bedroom, liar. Jeff, I liar. was hunting all the time. Liar. I shot a liar. fucking I shot a fucking quail between the eyes when I was ten years why old. Why don't you tell about the time where you killed a bear with your bare hands and that's why they call you bear? You hater. spit my ear, dude. I swear to God, I hate arguing with Zach. It's just like lies. You can't argue with Jeff, Zach. No, I, re I really did though. That is a true story. The really, horse shit I've ever I heard. I swear to God on Niall's life when he Zach, dies tonight. Zach, tell us <laughs> one camping story. Immediately go. Go. Uh, no, seriously, that, oh. that quail story is true. Oh, when I was 10. Oh, here When I was 10, the first of all, I came in with my dad. I felt so honored. I shot a quail between the eyes. My dad said, good job. And I felt great, so fuck you. This is how tragic my life is. My dad used to take me out fishing. Fuck you. And, and we, we used to go every, we used to go about like five times each summer for years. And uh, we never once caught a fish between us. But like I was so bad at it that once I pissed my pants. And my dad was so disappointed that we didn't catch a fish and that I pissed my pants. That Did I you piss your pants because you didn't catch a fish and you were nervous? What did you piss your pants for? I just pissed my pants. What is it with like Irishmen? What is it with these stories Irishmen tell? This one time I went to the, this one time I went to the, the lake and I pissed my pants and I, uh, somebody threw a rock at me at the end. <laughs> Well, wow. it's like the same. I don't know. I don't know what it is about these stories you got. You and Chris are like, it was one time I was running down the road and there was a bug and I stepped on it and then it's somebody spit in my eye. No, that's I had Chris. the worst day ever. I had the worst day ever because somebody spit in my that's eye. That's so true. <laughs> that is so true. Your stories are so all over the place. <laughs> I, but if you let me finish my story, it wouldn't be all over the fucking place. <laughs> it already is all over the place. Stamper. You pissing your pants has nothing to do with William this Andrew Stamper, will you let me finish? <laughs> I'll let you finish. Look, I pissed my pants and my dad was already disappointed that I could never catch a fish. And then he got even more disappointed that I pissed my pants and we just called it a day. And Why did you piss your pants? And we never went fishing again. <laughs> That's the end of your story. Because you already finished it. <laughs> my story, my story. That was your story to begin with. My story was that he didn't know. He, uh, he you know, Kyle, already... your dad caught disappointment that day. <laughs> the whole point he is really you have to in. summarize why you pissed your pants. But, oh, like, okay, I'll give you the context. It's like he was like, this man <sighs> could be a doctor someday. He's my son. <laughs> and ever since then, he just let me do what I want because he realized that I was just one of the rest. I was just one of the rest. <sighs> 
If I was born in the in the medieval times, I would have died at the age of four. He knows that now. He knows that I'm not a strong one. I'm one oh of the weak. Oh my god, dude, Niall, if you were Hitman, you would be like, all right, so I went up to the top of the bell tower, <laughs> and I had the guy in my sight, and then I put my gun down, and I ate a chocolate bar. <laughs> And then I went back, and it's like, what does this chocolate bar have to do with you killing somebody? Those are Irish stories. Okay, well, Stamper. <laughs> Irish stories. Stamper. I, Irish stories. I didn't catch a fish, so you don't have that part of the story, so I just like uh, supplemented it with pissing my pants. That's the, that's, that's the, instead of uh, catching that's a fish. That's Irish honesty. He came out I, with I'm trying honesty. to tell you here what happened that day when I went fishing. <laughs> That day, however, that day I did see an octopus, and I tried to catch it, but I didn't catch it. That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> what? Where were you fishing at, and now you're talking about an octopus? Like, that wasn't even part Nobody of Nobody catches an octopus! I didn't catch it, but... How were you expecting to catch it? You just put something from an octopus and it fucking scurried away! That's what happened. What else happened on this magical adventure through the Chronicles of Narnia? My dad started just being disappointed in me for the rest of my life. Because you pissed your pants and didn't catch an octopus <laughs> on your Irish fishing adventure. Well, well like... Okay, well, okay, okay, wait, let me, let me back up a little bit. Oh yeah, good, do Let tell. me back up a yeah, little bit, yeah. right. I'm yeah. telling you how boring fishing is. This is the most fucking eventful thing that happened uh -huh. when I went in my fishing uh -huh. experience, because I didn't catch a fish. Fishing Look, is great, dude, what are you talking about? But I, but I never caught a fish, so it wasn't great for me. There's the, there's, there's a great feeling when you see the, the little, they go down. Here. When I One was day, younger, I thought it was the most boring shit in the world, but now- It's relaxing now, dude, you sit there, you sit there with the beer, and you sit, and if something goes under, you reel it in, and you fucking go, look at that. And you don't catch anything? It's great, because you were on the lake. And you I relax. Get it now. I get it now. It's relaxing. I fish on, on a... I, I, I was a little kid. I actually won a fishing competition on a boat. It was, we went out on a charter boat, and I caught the biggest fish. Do you, it was it one of those catch and release things where you? Yeah, had no, I, I think we kept it. I you, never, I've never cooked a fish. I left that up to my, my dad. My dad cooked fish all the time. He used to catch you know, it. They're delicious. You know when people like catch a fish and then they block, hit it in the head with like a stone? No. It's not. They the, kill it? Yeah, they kill it just to you kill don't it. Have, you could just leave it and let it oh, suffocate, dude. It's not in the water. You could just let yeah, it. Yeah, that's letting it. That, that's torturing it. I caught this fish and then I hit it in the head with a stone and then there was an airplane <laughs> and it was a skydiver Fly flying over. And then there was an octopus I saw in the water. <laughs> I used yeah. to babysit for my uncle, and my friend sent me a uh, meat spin on uh, MSN Messenger. And uh, I think my uncle saw it, and then my dad got disappointed in me again because I think my uncle told my dad I was watching gay porn. Yeah, you already covered that in the previous podcast. Did I? Yeah. Did you see the octopus inside the computer? Your whole country should be nuked. That's what I think. I agree. Stamp, I'm, kind of, I'm curious what kind of grandfather you had. You, you ever, like, what, was he like a really stern grandfather? Should we, should we tell grandfather stories? Or was he a pervert? I need to use the rest really quick before I do anything. They helped shape us in a way. <laughs> My grandpa was a very kind man. Should we just let Zach go last? Yeah. I'll tell you something about Zach. He's a liar and a pussy. I know, yeah. what, what lie, what lies is he gonna come up with about his grandfather? He can't hear, he's gonna say like his grandfather was like a black his man. His dad was, his grandfather was part of the Third Reich. He got like a, yeah. Hitler's he, here we go, look. Like a, he got a purple belt in guerrilla fighting Look, Zach's at the bathroom yeah. now, but you heard it here, here you yeah, heard it like here first, folks. gorilla gorilla fighting, <laughs> like with monkeys. You heard it here, folks. Okay, here we go. Uh, so yeah, grandfathers, uh... Hold on, what the fuck? Whoa! <clears throat> I'll start. Sure. I had three grandfathers. One died before I was born. One was a step grandfather. He's cool. He's still alive. He'll be dead soon. Mm -hmm. How old is he? I don't know, like fucking 900. <clears throat> and then, uh. Cause, Cause you're a bit older than me, but my grandfather's like 88. The last time I saw my other grandpa, he was in a wheelchair smoking cigarettes, even though he had cancer. I remember, uh, when I was growing up, my, my father was always a pretty good artist. Really? And he drew a picture of my grandpa. And. Half of my grandpa's face in the picture was melted. Why? And I thought my dad was a bad artist. And it turns out that my grandpa was in a submarine and a steam pipe blew up in his face and melted half of his... So my dad's drawing was completely... <laughs> Just awful. accurate. It, was, it looked like... Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, man, that's fucking sad. That's pretty much all I know about my grandpa. What well, about he had a half-melted face. He had a half-melted <clears> face. <throat> World, was up, World War II, I assume, right? I don't fucking know. What about your other grandpa? CNN.com. Oh, well, World Halo. War II is... You, you like space stuff. I don't want to hear from you. Hey, uh, Zach. What about your grandpa? Yeah, tell me about your grandpa. Well, listen to me about my grandpa. Before I say anything. Bam!
being a mom is one of the hardest jobs out there, and you wouldn't want to make that any more difficult, right? So why use a paper towel that just isn't up to the challenge? Try Rodeo brand paper towels with patented lasso pockets that wrangle up the biggest of messes with ease, leaving you with more time for the kids or whatever the fuck you want to do. Maybe you can start a workout plan and actually stick to it this time, you fat greasy bee. Itch. That's Rodeo brand paper towels for messes as big as Texas. Now back to the show. Yeah, my grandfather, uh, I have two, but one passed away. Gosh, rest his soul. You know what I mean? <laughs> but the other one is alive. He's 88 now. He's still fucking alive. And he's he, he was one of those kind of like really rough military kind of, not not military, but you know, kind of one of those rough stern 50s, 60s kind of dads. But I, all, all he does now is like, because he's 88, he's born like 26. That's so fucking long ago. But I think now he, all he does now is like sit on, you know, and watch Leave It to Beaver and Mash and shit his pants. And drink. <laughs> he's, old he's still, he still drinks like scotch and just sits <clears> there <throat> and watches it. Oh yeah, he's totally done. He, he doesn't give a fuck, dude. He was, I, I can't believe he's coherent. He's a veteran? Yeah, World War II in Korea. Uh, what did he do exactly in <clears> World War II? He flew. He flew planes and fucking bombed the gooks. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what he'd say to me. Yeah, he's a, you're just you're just paraphrasing. Yeah, here. no, I'm paraphrasing what my grandfather yeah. would say. He called. This is a true story. I don't know if I can tell. You can delete it, but he this shows his age and his time. He looked on Martin Luther King Day. He he looked at me and he said, "Yeah, it's Martin Luther Nigger Day," and laughed really hard. And I was like, "Damn, dude!" And my grandma was like, "Don't say that, Ed." And it was like it's funny. <laughs> and she was like trying to salvage it, but like, oh, you know, he's so your just grandpa joking. was just you in the future. Yeah, it's me right now. But she was trying to like salvage it and be like, "No, he doesn't think that way." I am totally not deleting that. I'm <laughs> That it's funny. It's it's you know he's he's still he's still a sense of humor. He you just know? has no filter. He doesn't give a shit. He sits there all day. Doesn't care. I wouldn't yeah, either, I, dude. Yeah, my, mine were like that. Both of mine were in World War II. <laughs> one was uh, flying on like a cargo plane, and the other one was a uh, Navy doctor. He oh wow! A, he was on a battleship. He was a doctor. I think my my grandfather traded some of his services to some uh, somebody for a samurai sword. He gave me the samurai sword. So really? I have a yeah. He brought back a ton of stuff from the war. Actually, he brought back that. He brought back some of those. Um, what do you call them? What are those? What are those uh, knives? Japanese people stab themselves in the stomach. Sepukus with. or something. Yeah, like he brought back some of them. Hand carved those uh, knives. Those two of those. Oh, uh, the, the <laughs> ritual ceremony knives. Mm. You know, for being a doctor, I think him and his friends were kind of a little fucked up. I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? I keep hearing these stories about, like, my, my grandfather and his other friend, he'd call, I think, all I, all, I don't know if it was his first or last name, I just knew him as uh, Morris, and he'd, uh, this guy was like, you know, I think as he died when he was 90, but he was the craziest fucking old man I've ever known. And he was a surgeon. He used to be a surgeon. And he would, I'd hear all these stories about shit, like my grandfather had a goldfish, and then his friend Morris came over, and he he ate he ate my grandfather's goldfish <laughs> like for no reason, just because he thought it'd be funny. He pulled that. The that is pretty funny, it. though. I don't, know, I don't know. I don't know where this story was going, but the, yeah. Then, then yeah, he this, shouldn't have been a surgeon. There's this there's this story. There's a story that's in my family. This guy Morris, he he's long dead. He's long dead. But there was a story that he uh, he came back from the war with a a skeleton. I thought you were gonna say he came he, back from the dead. No, no. He, a, a full human skeleton. And he left it, he kept it in his attic. I don't know how- And it was him. Was, it was him! <laughs> That's the twist! I don't know, it was a different time back then. I guess they uh, had fun, had fun doing crazy Don't you kind of respect old guys, though, who are, like, in the war? I told you. Oh, yeah, no. Old. Like, whenever, were... I, whenever I see my grandpa, I'm just like, oh, my, gra my grandfather, it's like, you know- You remember when you were younger and you used to look at people, like, <clears> old people in cars, and you'd be like, come on, you old fucker. Yeah. Like, some dude's taking too long in line at the gas station or something. Nowadays, I'm just like, dude, take all the time you need. I do, I too. know you fucking hate everything that's happening right now in the world today, because I do, too. Here's, here's the thing with my grandfather. I you have know, infinite a, patience for old people. As I get older, I'm starting to understand this more and more. That just he just wants to be pe like left in peace to do something, not just fucking be bothered. Rot. He wants to tell his racist jokes and do his crossword puzzle and just be left alone. In fairness, I think my grandfather's Martin Luther King joke wasn't really a joke. It was more just like a. Oh my no my my grandfather would tell would drop the uh, n word jokes all the time. Oh no you can't you can't leave me in the cold with he, the n word. He was every every dinner every I was a little kid every even Christmas dinner he'd be telling them at the Christmas table. What's the table. what's the best one he told you? Some. some and by oh, best wow. I mean one that you were like damn I can't believe you said that at dinner time. He he'd crack himself and he'd always tell these jokes and then let out a huge laugh at the end like he just couldn't wait. 
I don't think he was an inherent racist. He, uh, I know he, he just I, liked the jokes. He I know just, he, I know he had some black friends. But yeah, I guess he just liked the jokes. He just, he just didn't care. I grew up in the Midwest. A lot of people, like a lot of adults there, still say colored. Like a lot of adults. Yeah, colored. Like my uncle, my dad said that. I was like, Dad, it's <clears> twenty, whatever the year was. What's wrong with saying colored? It's like nineteen fifty. No, but no, no, there's, there's really yeah, nothing wrong with saying colored. It's, it's, it's just a, weird. It's just what weird. It's, it's like the, it's a the novelty. equivalent of, of saying, yeah, your Oriental friend. No, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a real question though, because like, is the is the offense in saying that they're the ones who's colored and white is also a color? So saying that well, they're the colored? thing is, people are people. You shouldn't have to sit and point unless you're. Like, it just feels weird. It, just, it, just, it reminds people of, of, a, of an age of <clears> segregation. I don't even know. I don't know. This this whole language thing is just weird to me. I, everybody keeps every generation they come up with a new euphemism, a new a new word. Or they like they change. They take the good words to make them bad, or they take the bad words to make them good. It's always weird. It's always like I don't know. I think that's weird. Like like previous slurs are now good to say, but previous words that were okay to say are now slurs. Example. Uh, the word faggot's an example that's changing. It's, it was never, like, yeah. everyone says the word faggot now. Faggot does not mean gay. Not anymore. Faggot I, hasn't meant gay yeah, ever. I know. Faggot meant gay for, like, five months in the 1970s. But my point is, like, <clears throat> people are now trying to take the word faggot back. It's like the word gay. Gay meant, like, like happy, and, like, then, then it meant homosexual, and it's, it, it's going through all these different changes. And if I call you a faggot, I'm not calling you a gay guy. Do you think soon, like, a, another regular word will turn into, like, the, to mean gay? Like, just saying, like, a uh, fucking poster? Even, even the word queer. Before the word queer meant fag, which meant gay, which means homosexual, that word used to be, like, a, that, that was a descriptive word, like the word gay. It used to be, like, you're peculiar, I think. Like, That's a queer observation or whatever. There's, when I'm talking about, like, words that are acceptable and all of a sudden they slowly become unacceptable and they come up with a new softer word to take its place like like the most recent one is calling straight guys cis guys oh yeah you can't say straight yeah, straight is now an offensive word oh he's straight that you know, that implies you know I it's bet better than yeah. queer so he's cis like what is cis is just like, in, in another 20 years cis is going to be offensive and well, they're going to come up with another fucking word no matter what no matter what title you give the group, somebody's gonna hate that group and be like, "Oh, those fucking blacks." You can say that without without having a word. Yeah. Do you know what? Can we just go back to being people. Yeah. Jesus Christ. But do you know what? Like, cis so makes it simple. Do you know what like cis actually means? Straight no. guy. Cis no, 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 no. Cis. cis like, it, it, no, it means you you're you're the sexual orientation that you were born with. No, no, no. But like in science, like if there's fats, right? There's trans fats, and then there's cis fats. And cis is the opposite to trans, and that's why they're saying cis. They just kind of no, no. I'm dead. You just mean that's the or you just mean the origin of the word. Yeah, no, I'm deadly serious. That's it's the opposite to trans. So cis is like they're saying, oh, so there's trans fats, there's there's trans people. So there's cis fats and cis people. That's how they do it. Straight guys. A straight person isn't the opposite of a trans. Exactly, exactly. That's why it makes no sense. But they're trying to make it. They're trying to give logic into it. And it's, it's weird. And they, they even use cis as an insult. Yeah, you cis. fucking cis. Oh, check your cis. privilege. I know that check your privilege thing has become a meme now, but like people say that unironically. People say check your privilege yeah, before you insult someone. Check my privilege. And they're yeah, jizz bags. Hard. Like people will tell us to check Whatever our privilege. Whatever white you got handed everything, you fucking white. <laughs> You fucking- <laughs> yeah, oh, as if our life is fucking easy because we're white. No way. A lot of us uh, are fucking miserable. Are you serious? I, I starve. Yeah, we all do. I love these white guys that, uh... Hey, other this white is guys. The fun, this is the w most recent thing that bugs me. They, in their Twitter profile, they list that they're a feminist, right? These fucking guys, they, yeah, they, write, they write that they're a feminist in their Twitter profile, but it's like, it should be a fucking foregone conclusion that you're... A humanist, like you, 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 you want everything to be equal. Yeah, like everybody that. should have equal rights. That should just be obvious. Women, black they're, people, yeah, white people. Proud of the fact they're like you're ever, no one else is a feminist. But when you I'm like, you're like I'm a feminist, and you, yeah. you, it's like it's, you're almost saying other people. It's a new buzzword. Like, yeah, I'm better. Uh, but they, they there's some they have this weird feeling that they 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 have this moral high ground over people. Like somehow other people aren't for equal rights for everybody, but they yeah. are. I don't even like bringing it up, fucking, because I, you know, there's enough of this bullshit going around on the internet. But it's these people. There's such a fucking lack of common sense going on on the internet. I, it's mind blowing. Like Jeff. I don't even know. Uh, Jeff, do you, th uh, do you think that because uh, the feminazis are like being the ones who are like kind of like trying to be fucking bring us down, mm. that we're the femi Jews? <laughs> No, I don't. I don't want to say I'm a Jew. I don't want to. I'm not a feminist Jew because I don't. Feel, I want to cut that out. I don't want to say I'm a Jew. Feel, Jeff Dude, people are people, look, and everybody look. knows that people are people. What we're, is with people wanting to feel a weak 
and oppressed. Like every, there's too many people out there that they love. They almost get a hard on from feeling weak and helpless. Yeah, you shouldn't want to feel it's weak and helpless. Like, you know, you know what happened in Iran last month? What? A woman was executed for attacking and I think killing her rapist, and she got put to death for that. Well, okay. And then there's these there's these white girls who are like, I'm oppressed. It's like, well, how are you oppressed? A guy at Walmart well, looked at my ass. It's Zach, like, fuck they're you. All, Zach, they're, I get, they no, get no. off on it. They, it's almost like a fetish. Do you, they do you don't. They don't want to have any. Further. They don't want to have any inner strength. They don't want to be able to solve problems on their own. They don't. They want to blame others. They want to feel. They want everybody to feel bad for them. Stamper, do you think it's almost like a fetish, or it's something that like they really just want, like desire, kind of? No, it's like no. a fifteen minutes the, of fame. The thing. problem is, human beings. Human beings have evolved over fucking tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of years. They they need a certain. Human beings need a certain amount of shit to do. Shit and difficulty and. Challenge challenges in their life to, to grow up mentally healthy. You have these spoiled fucking brats who've grown up with no challenge, yeah. nothing to do, and, and it no, fucks them up. And if there's no legitimate problems, people create problems you fight. for themselves. Yeah, exactly. and they start, their, their mentality starts getting all fucking twisted. They're like, oh my god, I... I have everything too good. I. It's too. That's it. That's what I've been trying to say. It's everything. It's like they don't have any real oppression, so they try to build it for themselves. What is like that in your head? Why? Why is that like a human thing? It's like it's like people. It's like it's intrinsic in the human brain. Uh, like people just need to feel oppressed. Like why? What? What is that? What? What were the? Yeah. You know. I. I don't human get it. Human beings are human beings. They need to feel oppressed, or they need to have somebody to point the finger at. And human, say, humans evolved to problem solve. When we stopped like having to run from other animals and sh like. Weather, weather and stuff, and stop having to starve. Yeah. We just said, "Oh, fuck, that start, sucks over there." We start to look at our problems, and we start to point out other people. And then we, problems. for a time, for like a hundred years or so, like around the 1700s, 1800s, we started to actually, like, you know, fix real problems. 1900s, yeah. we started to That's we get real rights. That's because we food and water. And we gave women the right to vote. Great, we we helped other people. We freed, we stopped slavery. We did segregation. That's great. But that, now we're at a point where it's like everything's too good. Everything's too fucking <laughs> like oh, it is too good. That's why I'm saying we need another nine. 11. I will we need, say We need World War III. <laughs> we need a nuclear strike to happen. We do. So all this shit Thank ends. you. Stamper. This as, is as, why. As fucked up as that is to say, it would, it would reset a bunch of people's brains. When 9-11 was going on, everybody was focused on that. And on anthrax and shit. Yeah, life. everything else. Yeah, exactly. Jeff. And anthrax. I, I, would, I honestly, I honestly would take one of these white, these fat little white guys with the glasses and take them and put them in a rack and be like, dude, complain. Complain to these fucking people. <laughs> we they would not think about we oh need, that we need a huge earthquake to to put people's morals back into order like what people... do you do you think if i put you in iraq would you give a shit about gamer gate or would you worry about the guy <laughs> screaming alu akbar in the distance or you're fucking... angelina jolie's <laughs> fucking kids who gives a shit did you guys hear jennifer lawrence's titties or the internet go in the fucking desert run from tigers dude uh... the weird thing about that is it's just titties i didn't give a fuck because it was jennifer lawrence like it's literally just a naked body you just look porn it looks we, exactly the same you're scatterbrained as fuck tonight jeff do you what? think that if we lived in a like complete utopia, like a complete like beautiful like humans would just Human find a way? Human beings are we not find meant a way? to live. It's it's like no. the, it's like the fucking Matrix when they're talking about just they're like yeah we made a perfect world and it fucking fell apart. We need to give you guys you need to give humans like a struggle to keep you mentally healthy. That yeah. is it. That That's is the it. truth. I know it's like it's humans a are inherently greedy. Like we need to find humans will there will never be world peace ever. Yeah, ever. Ever because if every, ever because if everyone decides to be peaceful, there's one guy who'll want to take advantage of. Yeah, that. there's That's one asshole who's like, "Fuck you guys!" It's he's like, like hey, "Oh, he's peaceful. I can actually just like you usurp this throne now." Or people whatever. are naturally naturally gonna take sides yeah. no matter what. They're gonna auto balance out each side one way or another. Like if there's some struggle going on, there's a bunch of people that are neutral, and one side is way bigger than the other. I guarantee a bunch of people will join the smaller side just because instinctually that's what they're gonna do. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Completely. I, it, it seems to be just an inherent thing that uh, we like look for a balance. Like if we're too happy, we need to balance it down to being like uh, unhappy or look for a way to be unhappy. I don't know. This, I think it's an equilibrium kind of thing. This century is just fascinating in that you, you're starting to see what happens when a hu human brains aren't given what they need. They start to go fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in a hundred years, they're gonna look back at this generation and think we were fucking. It could barbaric. be. That's it might be if, worse. I don't know. If we have, if we're around in a hundred years, to think about shit. We're fucking walking around the ruins of, of humanity. You don't think we're gonna be around in a hundred years? 
Do you? Human beings are fucking cockroaches, dude. There's yeah. no way we're, we're gonna, gonna be around. Gonna... Like, is this gonna be? Are we gonna be around enough to think about? Like, wow. Human ingenuity. It's the funny thing about human ingenuity is once the shit starts to hit the wall, we'll figure it out. No, it's we like, will. But I like imagine if all yeah, destruction happens. Everyone's worried about Fallout. Are you serious? Human beings, really? We are so fucking stubborn. There's we are no fuck- way. It's, it's like we're a parasite. Like we do look for ways to evolve all the time. Like yeah, a lot of us. The internet is actually a step in evolution because we can communicate with every. Everyone now. It's honestly, it's all just like evolving what? into the. That's Sorry. it. Once the billionaires start have to breathe in smog every day, I can't wait. things will get fixed. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Once they don't have their fucking fucking jets and shit. What like if a, What if there's like a bad? Shut up, letters. Nile. I like rich people. What You're if, just sucking their balls so you <laughs> so they give you money. Whatever. One percent, Nile. Yeah. One, I'm one percent, dude. One percent. I'm one percent in the poorest. I'm I'm one percent in the other direction. You have like Marty McFly sneakers on. <laughs> Never mind. They, yeah, they do tie themselves. I noticed it is, that earlier. If they were gray, they would be Marty McFly sneakers, self-lacing yeah. and all that. Well, it is Velcro. Hey, did you notice our intersection talks now? What? Huh? Oh, when you cross the crosswalk? It was. It wouldn't shut the fuck up. I I stopped, <laughs> and it's like it's like warning, an emergency vehicle is approaching. Warning. What and then really? The second it got through the intersection, warning, a train is approaching. Yes. Warning. And will then you, another you, ambulance, it just kept talking for five minutes. When you, when you press the button, it says, you can now cross the road. Yeah, it is yeah. all safe. Cars will not smash into your body. Cars will you. not smash hey, into you, Zach. Check your privilege, Zach. <laughs> yeah. Some people are deaf, all right? Good. I hope they get hit by cars. Do you think one day it'll be like, hey, Zach, it's, uh, it's time for you to cross the road. Like they scan your eyes like minority reports. You. See like, if you're blind. Cross the road, Zach, faggot. I punch yeah. it. I'll get fucking fuck. weirdo. You're a misogynist, Zach. I, I just think women are stupid, unfunny, What's only wrong? good for rape. What's think- wrong with hating a woman just because she's a fucking asshole? Why do you? Why can't I just hate a woman for being an asshole? Do you think people who misogynize not, not guys hate, it doesn't mean assholes? doesn't mean you hate all women? Yeah. This is the one thing that liberals did. That, I, I'm a liberal myself. <laughs> no, 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 I'm serious. I'm a liberal myself, so I can say this. Ah. The one thing liberals did that pissed me off a couple years ago was when anybody ever criticized Obama, it was like you're a racist. It's like no, dude, you can hate Obama and not be a racist. Yeah, here's the. Th- Yep. People I, hated Clinton. People hated Carter. I you liberal. I've never considered myself libertarian. Like, I'd say you are just from what you talk about. Just I'm, from I'm, mid, I'm middle left. Yeah. I'm middle left. I'm like middle. middle left. Yeah. It's like middle I've left. never considered myself conservative. I've always kind of. I feel like I've just been on that liberal side. But middle, so these really, people are so fucking. They're they're like in. They're like they go into. They're like so liberal. The furthest left gone is they give crazy. The furthest left is they give like pigs equal rights to humans. That kind of thing. It's like we're not that fucking far gone. But like we want everything to be. I, I've it's said, like, the left is, the the far left is now so far left, they're going to the far right now. I want to see... Like, like there's, these, there's these feminist guys who are like, women can't wear clothes. Like, dude, you sound like a guy in the 50s. Yeah, exactly. The your, Zach, women Zach can't had, show their ankles. Zach, you blew my mind with that point. Cause it's it, it's it like made you me think of asteroids. You go left and you just come out of the right it side It made me of the think of, like, a globe. You know, like, the fucking Earth. It's, what? it's like... What the hell are you guys talking about? Like, these guys who are so about. far politically <laughs> left. Yeah, no, no, Zach, seriously... So, Sorry, Zach has a point here because like it, he's saying like you're going so far left that you you love women so much that you want them to all have equal rights and then you're like yeah, yeah we, we, women can't like wear this yeah if you're, you're, you're liberal yeah. you're anti-liberal I'm not you're anti-liberal no, no, I'm, liberal, no, but, uh, no I'm not what, anti-liberal you know what I am I'm Stamper and I sit at my computer and I work all day what yeah. difference does it make no but Stamper you're actually right but we're saying that if you people have, are people if you sit down Stamper I'm and a you, Stamper no but we're saying I have two. No, no not liberal. who cares? I said I'm right a Republican Stamper. liberal. <laughs> I, know you don't, you. I know you don't know about politics at all, but if you sit down and you do a test on what you well, believe in... Expert here. Oh. <laughs> well, I Let's never. Get, teach us, teach well, us. No. I never. You no, want to talk about CNN.com, Stamper? Look, Zach completely agrees with me, but for some reason he's just I siding. With, he's he's one of those guys who sides with the people who are. There's more that's people, or the stronger people. Yeah. Oh, I know that. The it's strongest guy here. I'll tell Stamper. Tell me your yeah. damn story, now. To be honest, I'm tell saying, us a story. Stamper went to see it. Come and saw octopus and pissed his pants. <laughs> Fuck you, Nile. <laughs> Fuck you, Nile is going to become a... Don't cut this out. Why'd you say that? Now it is going to become a meme. No, 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 you're cutting this out. But fuck you, Nile. You've said that so many times in this podcast that it will become a meme. So please stop saying that. Say (laughs) some... No, no. Say say some variations. God damn it, Nile. No, no, no. Not that. You're a racist, Nile. Some variations. I love you, Nile. Some variations. Guys, okay, let's say you're a racist, Nile. Okay, three, two, one. You're You're a racist, racist, Nile. You're a racist, Nile. You're a racist, Nile. That sounds like a Charlie Brown special. But uh, no, no, Stamper. I'm saying if you sat down and you did a quiz on like what kind of section you are in the fucking political 
spectrum. You are left. You'll probably be around the same as us. That's all we're saying. I know you don't care. But I'm, I'm just. Saying, uh, I'm part of the common sense party. That's what I'm part. Of. Oh, okay. You're the fucking. I'm the reasonable whatever, dude, common, common sense party. Sense is, is completely reasonable. Common Why? sense. I'm not. I'm not it's looking not to be upset. I'm not looking to be hurt and offended. I'm I don't to care. I'm busy. Buy products and and pay what I owe and. But that's love the same with everyone. That's the and, same with all. Sorry, I did a bad. I did a Zach bad. did a boo boo. You're a misogynist, Nile. I'm not just because women. A, you're a misandrist. Nile rapes women .com. <laughs> Do you hate men? <laughs> don't direct people to that. <laughs> you should buy that domain. <laughs> No, don't buy that. NowRapesWomen.com. <laughs> you rush going to website for NowRapesWomen.com. Well, now that we've alienated a few people with our <laughs> bullshit. Jeff, like, I have a few people you mean everybody. every fucking person listening. Ooh, those. Uh, Subject change. Immediately. Zach. No shave November. No. Shave November. <laughs> Okay, sh we should not do it. I don't want to close on No Zach, Shave November. Zach, I noticed you're growing a lot of stubble lately. Uh, is this for uh, No Shave November? For no. prostate cancer to raise awareness? No. Well, I what's have it noticed for, Zach really? does have a beard coming in. Yeah, it does have one coming in. It's this, looking... this is disgusting. Don't look at no, this. No, it doesn't. It looks good. You look rugged. I don't All know right, why. Just... I have the Adley anti Hillary. Zach... I can't grow hair right there yet. Zach is into this thing where he's like, I need to look. I I'd love to wear a suit and I'd love to be clean shaven and look All like right, I'm so... from the 50s. Shut up. So you brought this <laughs> up earlier today. Well, I'm dying to know what no shave November. All these guys grow out their pubic hair to commemorate 9 11. Okay, so what is it really? <laughs> you think that's a false? <laughs> yes. You think that's not real? No, because you smile when you lie, Zach. <laughs> no, for. <laughs> For 9-11, what you do is uh, you get a boner and you sit down and your friend gets a boner and you Nile! sit down and you get- Shut up! Uh, you both sit down and with your people boners. people throw paper like, airplanes into your wieners, that's so it. get it. That's it. Okay? Yeah, exactly. No shave November, how did what you know is that? this? Jeff, your stubble looks great today. Thanks. See, what you, you and Jeff- I'm tired of facial hair. You, no, you no, no, Jeff. Jeff, Jeff, you pull Jeff, it off. Jeff. You, you would stamp her. Jeff. Stamp her, you do it too. You can do what? the sideburns going to your face, and I like that. No, That's I was, because I am a you man. Know what, I'm Zach. a boy. <laughs> I'm a big boy. Wah. So what's uh, what's with uh, no no? So mustache? a bunch of hipsters don't <laughs> shave for the month. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. A bunch of nineteen-year-old neck beards don't like, grow their neck beard for a month because they want to help cancer out. But the thing I that's don't what I was waiting for. Yeah. The thing I don't understand is it's for cancer awareness, and everybody knows about cancer. Stamper. What kind of cancer? Prostate cancer, because it's it's dude cancer. It's, it's, it's like thing, it's like yeah. breast. It's like the opposite of breast. Yeah, not yeah. the opposite of breast how cancer. Does, how does kinda. you growing your beard out do anything? Because you you uh, set up a page on Movember.com or whatever, and you sp you get people to sponsor your fucking you growing. So you, you said lie? it's for cancer. Yeah. Is it so you, is it so you so can feel you connected? Beard. So it's like all these people in their cancer beds change. grow out their beards because they can't. Well, they can't because they have they they got chemo. So and they you can't grow feel hair. you feel like. Uh, Oh. A sense of consolidation with them or Wait, something. guys grow beards because chemo patients I'm can't grow? I'm just guessing. It's more I, like taunting. I have, no idea. I have no idea what that means. It's like taunting them, don't that, you think? I don't understand it. Oh, so it's, it's like when women grow their titties out. <laughs> yeah, for breast cancer, breast cancer. Breast I hate... Or feminists grow their fucking armpit hairs out. The fact that this pieces. exists in humanity is... Uh, it's, a, it's a perfect example of where we've... we've, we've yeah, but okay. Fuck, fuck people, fuck Earth. Thank Ar you. Thank you for listening. Arguably, like the biggest uh, charity, uh, like causes in the world, is cancer. But like, cancer still hasn't been cured yet. So like, what's? All the right, Niall, we have to wrap this up. I'm gonna ask you a bunch of rapid fire questions. You can't think. You just have Wait, to answer. Go for it. Uh, favorite color? Blue. Guys or girls? Guy, uh, girls. Oh. <laughs> 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 Busted. Nah. Busted, my friend. Uh, no, that's not true. It's not true at all. I Zach, same thing. Uh, favorite movie, go. Robocop. Uh, least favorite movie, go. Robocop 2. Guys and girls, go. Robocop 2. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Stamp guys and girls. Guys, shit. <laughs> guys and girls. Guys, guys shit. Guys, that's <laughs> right. Favorite, favorite video game? Uh, Devil May Cry 3. Least favorite video game? Uh, not Devil May Cry 3. Dick size. Five. Shit. <laughs> 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 Wait, true story. They almost saw my dick before Jeff walked in. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, we, yeah. we really tried to haggle now to pull his dick out because we heard Jeff close well, his Well, yeah, cover. that's a true story, okay? That is a true story. From, Stamper, from you tell it. start to finish, you tell it. Stamper, no, I'm a bad storyteller. No, you tell it. Uh, it uh, Stamper and I were sitting in our chairs looking at Lyle, and I was kind of in front of us. And we're like, Lyle, pull your dick out. And he was really self-conscious, but we, we, like, for five minutes, we tried to convince him. And about the fifth minute, he almost did it. And before, we heard, Stamper and I heard Jeff's car door closing outside. And I wanted to time it, so Lyle would pull his dick out. 
Jeff would walk in, but it didn't happen. It was so Jeff, close. Jeff walked in right I before it happened. I didn't hear Jeff I need, I need new friends. I'm tired of talking to you guys. <laughs> now I'm it was like, I'm I don't know, guys. It's really cold in here. Listen. Like he was trying to impress us. Yeah, <laughs> Listen, yeah he's sort of like joking up. He's sort of stroking to get like a chub. That's bullshit. I was like, That's dude, bullshit. Look, it was nice I don't even know why I'm here right now. The, I don't the, want to the, see Niles Wiener. The pulling it out, the, the, the chub thing, I have to defend myself with that. I wasn't trying to get a chub. I was like debating whether to pull it out or not. So I was like, I need new friends too. I'm so fucking tired of dick talk. Oh fuck you! I will. Oh, oh, I want. Science. I want a hat. Zach, fuck you. if you could name a comet, what would you name it? Jeff's asshole. There you go. There you go, folks. <laughs> Jeff's asshole is near the sun. The the the, the trails be are burning word. off. And you write cartoons. Jeff's asshole. Step, we're gonna wake up dead tonight. <laughs> How is he gonna wake up? <laughs> oh, wake up. Holy shit! I'm dead. Oh no! If I was to name a comet, I would name it Nile. I would name it B5379. They ran out of Greek god names. You have to name them like a numerical... What if I name it like Aphrodite? Is there one? That's, that's a good what one. What if we just named it the Terminator? Just call it the Terminator. Yeah, and oh, it's... The Terminator's near Earth! Earth. The, the one that's near Earth. coming towards yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And asshole scientists name it the Terminator. <laughs> And there's nothing you can do about yeah. it. It's like who comes up with the names for like hurricanes, like Hurricane Sandy and Katrina. The like, Terminator why are they all named after Earth. women? Yeah, yeah. Why can't they call it like Hurricane fucking Annihilator? There's plenty of hurricanes in guys. That's not nice. Ivan. The people are gonna die, and then the news people are like, yeah, 83 people died because of Hurricane Annihilator. They got. Oh, I'm saying Annihilator because Nile's in the name. Oh, oh, you selfish motherfucker, dude. Everything revolves. You know what, son? All right, I'm gonna call you son from now on because we all revolve around you. Well, I'm the fattest. Here, so technically you do. Yeah, it's true, son. Fat ass. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't call me fat in this podcast. We have 30 podcast. seconds left. I don't want all the ladies listening to think I'm fat, because I always say that I'm fat, but I'm not that fat. But you are fat. Thanks for listening to Sleepy Cast. <laughs> uh, I'm Stamper TV. The name, the name is Zach. Don't wear it out. The name is Fat, fat Boy Slim. It's Jeff. J-E-F-F, not J-E-O-F. No, no, G-E-O-F-F. G-E-O-F-F. G-E-O. Whatever, like, like man. A British Good night. Threat. Good Love night. You. Love you. We have ten seconds left. Let's start screaming. Oh, fuck ah, you. Oh. I, 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 I'm not fat. I'm, I'm not fat. He's a liar. He's a liar. I'm not fat. He's a liar. He's a liar. He's a liar. He's a liar. You are fat.